Hey guys, Cyber Week here today and welcome back to Software Inc. Last time we just got somewhat successful. Uh, well, hopefully, hopefully we'll maintain the success, but we have moved buildings into this new one, which we are still leasing. This is not our own building built from scratch, but it is a, the new one in Alpha 11. That includes lots of big offices here at the front of which we've rented three, four, five of them. And then we have a bunch of uh, workshop areas that we've rented at the back or hardware areas with conveyor belts and delivery systems and all that. So we are gonna be, I guess, starting off furnishing this place. So we have four teams, which we will probably be expanding both the core and service team at the very least, or at least maybe the core just for now, maybe the 2D editor. Uh, so we can get some more programmers and designers. And I think we're gonna start in this office here instead of this one because these two are the same in terms of layout. This one's slightly different just because the door is over here at the side rather than in the middle. So I'm gonna work on this, well, one of these rooms here. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna make sure everybody in the office has their own little cubicle because one of the problems with the smaller office is everyone was getting a little bit cramped in. So we're gonna start off using the glass desks because they're gonna give us more environmental. It's gonna, basically gonna look nicer. Then I'm gonna use a cubicle wall because this actually blocks sound. And I'm gonna do something like this, pretty much. And then we're gonna do as many of these in the room as we can fit. And that's the number we're gonna go with. Gonna get the uh, executive chair here. And I guess the latest computer is actually a laptop, which is kind of interesting. I mean, I feel like, oh, it is actually, I was gonna say, I feel like it's less powerful. It actually is. It's not actually as good as the 90s computer. So you know what, I might actually just go with the 90s computer. I mean, it uses less electricity, but the durability is also less, so. Let's just go with the 90s computer looking good. And we're just gonna go with that for now. We're basically just gonna copy and paste this. So we're gonna duplicate this just along this wall here, which is gonna get us five desks running along that wall, which are all nice and private. We're also gonna need to do lighting and all that stuff in the room, but we'll do that in just a moment. Now I will select all of this and we're gonna duplicate the whole row, flip it round. And if we put it there, that allows enough room to get through to the back. And if we duplicate it again, we can put them here. And then I'm just gonna run cubicle walls through the middle of these guys here as well so that they all have their own beautiful little space. Now we've got 15 computers uh, all set up in this room and then we'll do probably a little bit more along the front here. Maybe we could do three here and then a few over this side, like two. And we'll get 20 for each room. I think it's the plan. I think that'd be pretty good. So we copy three of them just there. I mean, so, I mean, they're looking straight out into the hallway. Not exactly that pro that private for them, but I mean, that doesn't really matter. There's still a wall there, so it'll be okay. So that what that's taking us to 18. Yeah, then maybe just another two desks. I guess I can just do it here. Or maybe even we'll shift it over a little bit. So I'll put it over that way and then I'll get this one here. All right, so this now means we have 20 uh, computers in this room. So the whole team can scale up to 20, which I think is really, really good. Now let's try to get some lighting in here. Um, so when we click on the room down over here, we can see 164 lux at the moment. And that's in the middle of the day. If we go to like nighttime, there's like no light in here at all. So let's go ahead and solve that. I'm actually just gonna align the grid to this here, just so we can actually get the lights in the middle of the row. I think it just looks a little bit neater if we can do that. Oh, actually lights place in the, the corners of the grid. Okay, that's, I did not realize that. So they already go in the middle of the row. Okay, never mind. that's fine. <laughs> so we'll place them here. I don't know how many we're gonna need. So I'm gonna do three there. Oh, it's down here. I'm gonna need to readjust the grid so it can go in the middle. Cause this row is only one square wide. So this is a little tighter. Oh, and these that also don't, hmm. They don't line up with those lights. If I half the grid size, maybe, can that mean, does that mean I can place it in? I think that's in line with it. It's kind of hard to tell, but I think they're, they're lined up. I mean, it doesn't really matter because we'll probably just turn off overhead stuff. If you press L, you can hide all the stuff on the ceiling. So we'll probably just end up doing that anyway. So this room is only 287. It needs to be like 400 is full brightness. It's kind of where I want it to be. So at 382 now, which is pretty good. And then what I would probably do is just add a few little desk lights. Lamps, I don't know why I said lights. All right, so that's now 400 lux even at nighttime. That means even during the day, it should be nice and bright as well, which is good. That's what we wanted. Right, the next thing I want to do is probably get uh, fire sprinklers because that can be rough if you forget. Actually, I'll just align the grid probably to the lights again. Can we just place it next to the lights? Yeah, I, I don't, I'm really not sure how many of these you're supposed to have, but I mean, out here, you can see they actually put one next to each light. So I'm just gonna follow their example. 
And we're gonna put one next to each light. And that should cover- actually, there's none- they didn't put any in the bathroom, so I'll put one in there for them. I mean, I don't- I think that'd be fine, but it's probably a good idea. They already have a smoke alarm in each of the rooms, so we don't have to worry about that. Now, we have- so we've got 20 people in here. We can um, provide some amenities within this room for them to use as well. So they, we will build a break room, but we can also do some stuff in here. And I kind of like using, let's just use a regular table. If we do four of these tables right here, we can add four uh, mini fridges. Because this means uh, employees can bring their own food and it has a capacity of five. So if we have four of them, that means 20 employees can put all their food in these little fridges. And they can get some stuff throughout the day. And then I'm going to put this vending machine next to that as well. I don't know if we need to. Let's just go one. One vending machine is fine. And then I'm going to put a couch maybe by the entrance here. So it's like, it's almost like a little mini reception. You sort of come into this office and you're like, oh, please, yeah, no, please, please just take a seat there. We'll be with you in a moment kind of thing. You know, a little couch. Oh, and then we could get a rug as well. And we could change the pattern on the rug too, which is kind of cool. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I really like either of these, but... We'll go with it. Let's go. Can I go with that one? Sure, let's do that. And I would definitely like some water coolers in this room as well. We have a bit of room along here as well because this is like three wide. So we can definitely get a water cooler there. So employees can go there and grab some food or grab some drinks and some food from there. Then I'm going to do, I'll do a plant here. I mean, it, it, we do block off one of the access points of this water cooler, but they still have two. And then I'm going to do, maybe we could do some bookcases here. But just that adds some skill to the room, which is good. And then let's get some little decorations around. So this room, I mean, this room is currently 200% environment, so we don't actually need to decorate it anymore. But it's always nice. We could get some acoustic foam as well. Maybe I'll mix it up. Some of these guys can have different foams. Like, look at this. These guys are like, we're so cool. We got all these different foams at our desk to make it even quieter. I think, does this actually make it quieter? I don't know if it does. It's kind of, because does this? Oh, this doesn't have like a thing that specifically says it blocks sound, but it does. So I wonder if those are the same. We gotta have a big uh, TV. I would like to put it in the middle of this wall, but it doesn't seem to want to let me. I think because there's a, sometimes when like walls join other walls, it kind of annoying. It doesn't like placing there. So, wow, oh, that's annoying. I won't bother with that then. Um, I would like to do like some of these rugs. These are kind of fun, but uh, we'll have to, ch mm, it's gonna be annoying because I'd have to change, oh uh, yeah. Uh, I want the colors based on the team that's in here, so maybe I'll do that later. I'm gonna get a few more plants around the place, just like on desks and stuff. No, no, no I'm trying to click on this one. Hello? There we go. <laughs> For some reason I click and it's like not- Hello? Okay, just click it like five times and we're good. <laughs> and then this one, click. Oh, I clicked once and it worked. Sweet. Just get these around. I don't know, just a little a little bit of greenery in here. I mean, that's probably fine. Uh, you may notice I haven't done any of the little booster things next to their desks. Uh, we could, at the moment, we're still going to be having a mixed team of artists, designers, programmers. Everyone's going to be in one, so we can't really specifically choose one for a certain type of person, but we can probably get one that sort of benefits everyone kind of equally. So probably just the inbox would be fine. Um, my development team, because that's kind of good for everyone. I mean, it's better for designers, but that's that's all right. We're, we're going to go with that. So we're just going to put this on each one of the computers. All right, and that will probably do for now. So that is going to be the core team there. And then I'm going to select the furniture, duplicate it, and just put it in here because that's going to save a heck of a lot of time just doing that. I think it gets most of the stuff. Sometimes it, it drops. <laughs> Look at this one. This guy's facing the hallway and out there. I mean... That could be a nice thing or a bad thing that you have two windows. Like this person is kind of fully exposed. So I don't know if that is a nice thing, but whatever. Uh, and then this room can be the uh, 2D editor team. I'm, I'm going to change the colors and we'll customize it a little bit so it matches the team. But I'm just getting the furniture in first. And then we're going to duplicate this, go upstairs into this room. And we're going to duplicate it again and go into this room. I know it's kind of boring that they're all the same, but I mean, changing them specifically is a little annoying. So those are the, actually, let me turn on the room labels because, yeah, 2D editor and core team. Then this one can be either marketing or service, I guess. We'll go marketing for now. And then this one can be the service team right there. So now what we're going to do is we need to get the team color. So core, we're going to grab that color. Uh, I'm going to get a build mode so I can actually see it's a little dark in here. Then I guess, what color do I want to change? I don't want to change everything. Should we change the chairs to the team color or maybe keep the chairs the same color? We could change the wall. That's usually what we do. So that can be, that's our like core team wallpaper. We could also even change the cubicles as well. 
but is that like is that too much? Like with that, <laughs> maybe that's too much. Maybe the chairs. Let's save the cubicles and maybe we change the chairs. Let's have a look. That's kind of nice. I, I like that actually. It like matches the walls. And then we need to do the other rooms as well. Now in the marketing office, we can select all of these little inboxes and actually change them to the phone because that's going to help service team members. Uh, and then. I mean, sorry, marketing team members, sorry. Uh, and then the service one, we can actually leave because the, like I said, it's, it's probably more important to do service. Um, it's just because we also have some programmers in there. So I was going to leave it, but uh, you know what? It's probably better to have the service boost so they can all have phones as well. So the, both of these offices have phones. So can, <laughs> the marketing one is a little green. Maybe it's a bit much, but uh, there you go. <laughs> they have the green chairs, green walls, and then Got the pinky purple for the core and the, the blue for the 2D editor. I actually quite like, I like this room. This one's quite nice. Then we want to make a break room as well, which I guess, I guess, well, canteen or lounge. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I guess I'll set it as a canteen. So then they can come in here. Actually, I won't do it as a canteen now because then we're going to have to hire cooks and all that. So we'll set it as a lounge for now. And I'll get a nice like rug here, you know, and then I want to get a couch. I kind of want the couch in the middle of that. So maybe I have to align it to the rug. Beautiful, that sits right in the middle. And then we get this one here. And then I'm actually just gonna clone this set of furniture and just put it here. So I have like two little seating areas. I'm gonna get rid of that. What I'm gonna do is like set this little cubicle wall in between. So it's almost like two little relaxation pods <laughs> where you can go hang out. I don't know, I think that's kind of cool. I'm gonna plant in that corner. One, oh, one can go in this corner. And then you guys can have a bookcase there. You, you guys can have one there. I mean, I should probably have a look at uh, common. What do we actually need? Some water coolers, maybe. One there. We can have one over here. We probably want some more uh, vending machines as well. All that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, you know, we need lights and all that kind of stuff too. Wait, this light is now placing in the middle of a grid tile before it's placing on the corner. I don't understand how these lights place. Yeah, see, now it's going in the middle. I don't understand. Over here, it was going on the corners. <laughs> I don't understand how these lights work. I don't know. Maybe it's best just not to question it. I'll just do a few more lights in here. Is that enough lighting? 382, not quite, that's all right. And I guess I should get some fire extinguishers as well for when inevitably a fire sets this place ablaze. Oh, we should probably get security cameras. That's what I haven't done. Uh, oh, these doors are annoying because they're kind of like, you can't have a security camera there. It has to be like down here or down that end. Hmm. Oh, this one can't even have one over there. We can have one up here. Hmm. Yeah, the security situation's a little rough here. Hopefully they come into the, the break room first because there's one right by the door. I'll get one there too. These have like the worst... I don't know what is with these security cameras. Like, look at the range of this. Do they have like Vaseline smudged on the front of these security cameras? <laughs> they can only see to here. I don't know. It seems... <laughs> I don't know what they've done to them, but you can't see anything. All right, so I mean, this break room's looking pretty good. I mean, I don't really know what else to put in it, to be honest. Oh, we can do the like, coffee machines and stuff. That's a good idea. I'll also just get more of these fridges, even though we have enough in each of the... Uh, oh, can I not? I think I have something else selected. Oh yeah, that room. I'll get more of these little uh, mini fridges, because, I mean, we don't particularly need to have more of those, but it might be nice. And then we'll get uh, a couple of espresso machines, so like really nice ones. Maybe three, you know, three. So every, there can be three people making coffee at a time. This can have a little picture underneath that camera. I was going to do a rug all the way down that section there because I felt like it. And then can we get some TVs behind this? One TV there, a TV there, just just for decorative purposes. <laughs> decorative TVs, you know, all good. I don't know what to do with the rest of the space. I guess I should just put more seating because honestly, there's not much else to do. Maybe I'll do a TV there and one here and then we'll sort of set these up as like little TV viewing places. Is that what? <laughs> a TV viewing place, what? <laughs> yeah, that's what we're gonna call it. Uh, you can go there, you can go there. I mean, that one's a little bit more spacious, but I might get rid of this one in the corner. That one's a little, little sad. Well, actually, if I reset this and I just move this over, that'll probably work better. Yeah, yeah, there we go. And we'll do the same thing. Oh, that light is now not accessible. So it's just gonna be placed up center. Don't worry about it, it's fine, okay? And then we'll do a little, uh, you know, privacy pod. I don't know, I kind of like the idea of them having little separate spaces that you can sort of break out into, you know? And then this one, I guess this one can just be a little bit more open like that, you know? Nice little break area. They can't get that light, so I'm gonna have to, whoops. I don't know what I just did to that light. Put furniture in inventory. Wait, there's an inventory in this game? I didn't even know that was a thing. How do you even get to your inventory? I thought that was like a Sims thing. <laughs> okay, if I go put in my inventory. Oh, it goes there. It's just like, I already have one. Oh, I mean, I guess that's useful. So you shouldn't maybe, it's best not to just randomly sell items. Cool. All right, well, I'm gonna leave the break room like the default colors because I guess we don't really need to change it. 
But there's that. So room labels that is set as the lounge for everyone. All teams can use that. And then we have these four rooms here. Then we also have this room back here, which is arguably the most important thing. Uh, this is the manufacturing facility where we can now print or like, I guess, put together our own hardware, like consoles and that. But we're going to be starting off pretty simple with just printing products. So this, for example, can print 24,000 copies per month. But we often want to print more than that. So let's just get a conveyor belt. So the way these work is, I mean, I'd say it's pretty straightforward. We just, whichever way it's facing is the way that it flows. So for example, that is now all going that way. And then you put your printers on top like this. So that would be 24,000 a month. Then you'd have 48,000 and then you'd have 96,000 a month. So th with this, we could print almost 100,000 copies per month. And what I'm going to do is then, so the old way, we used to have pallets that would uh, collect all our stuff from printers, and you can still do that. So what I would like to do is go pallet, pallet, pallet. There is actually like an, an invisible pallet here if you like. The stuff will stack up here too. Um, but these are currently manual, but you can automate uh, things stacking onto these. If it's Once it overflows here, it will come back onto these. And the way you do that is you want the pallet drop point. Drops boxes onto pallets if the conveyor belt backs up. So this would go here like this. I'm going to put one on each. And then the next one we want is the pallet pickup point. Picks up boxes from pallets if the conveyor belt is empty. So then right next, no, 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 okay, okay. flip. Okay, there we go. Then this would pick up items. So this would basically drop stuff off if it's the conveyor belt is backed up to this point. As soon as this spot becomes free, you can pick something up and put it back over there. So this will automatically store 27 boxes, which I mean, it's kind of confusing because these produce 24 boxes a month. It's kind of confusing because it goes between saying boxes and copies, but there's a thousand copies per box, at least on this printer. Later on, I think it changes. Yeah, 2000 copies a box. So 1000 copies per box at the moment. We can get 24 boxes per month from these and each of these hold 27 boxes. Anyway, I mean, we don't really need to get that deep into the weeds on the numbers, but we're going to start off with that. And then I might get another row that actually goes, can I, go? I can go there. Okay. That'll go like this to that point and then turn this way. And then it joins into the main line just there. And then I'm going to get another four printers here. Now, obviously I could put more printers on this line if I wanted, but if we're putting too much stuff on one line anyway, it's going to start backing up. I mean, I don't know if four is too much. It might be perfectly fine. And again, I could use these same pallets uh, on this line if I wanted, but I'm going to just do another set of three pallets over here and set up the same pallet uh, drop off point and then pallet pickup point as well. So now we can do nearly 200,000 copies a month, which I guess is not that much. So we might want to up that. Now you might also see these other things here. This actually just allows us to pass stuff through into this room. And this one allows us to pass things upstairs or downstairs. But it's kind of cool. It's quite a lot you can do with that. Now I think I'm going to just try and maximize this a little bit. So I'm going to leave another gap here. It's going to go like this and then I'll go in there. So these are all merging together. This might get really, really busy, but that's also why we're doing all the pallet uh, points so we can pick up extra copies if there's too much. So I'm going to say pallet drop off points and then we can do pallet uh, pickup points like that as well. So we can do, I guess, just a little under 150,000 copies a month. I mean, ideally, I would probably want to print more than that because of the, the programs that we have. But I think it'll actually be fine. So if we're doing 150,000 copies a month printing wise, what we can do now is have a look at our current releases. Photo Studio 2. We have 64,000 in stock and 87,000 in stock of eVaccine 8, which is also selling, but not that much. What I'm going to do, we're going to say start printing. And it says enter a limit of how many copies you'd like to have in stock before pausing, which means if our stock levels get below a certain number, we will print more to stay at that same level. So I think we'll set it to 50,000. So at the moment, it will not print it. But it means if we get below 50,000, we'll print some more and then we just have to like send them out and deliver them. And likewise with the 2D editor as well, I'm going to set that to 50,000, which at the moment should be okay. Later on, we'd probably want to go 100,000 or 150,000, depending on how many you're selling. But right now we're not actually selling that much stuff, so it'll probably be okay. So those will print. Um, and right now I'm not going to hire anyone to pick it up because we're not actually printing anything right now. And if I hired couriers to come and pick the stuff up, it would be completely pointless. Speaking of which, I'm actually going to set these parking spots. In fact, can I select them? What happened? Oh, can I not select those? Oh, never mind. 
I thought I owned these. Well, later on in the game, you can actually, like, if you if I own this land, I could select these and set it to only allow couriers to come and park here and pick up stuff. Um, maybe it's already like that by default. I don't know. Right, so... I guess <laughs> it's time to unpause and see if this works. Oh, actually, the other thing you guys suggested I do... I don't understand. I guess it's time to unpause and see if this works. I didn't... What... The series has been going off non-stop lately in videos. Anyway, you guys suggested setting this back to 6 p.m. Because 7 p.m. is technically night shift. And that's why some employees are a little unhappy or a little bit more stressed out. So I'm going to set it all back to 6. And I might actually go and end up hiring some night teams. We also need to expand our teams. I'm not going to actually expand them just yet. Because uh, I want to make sure we're going to keep making money. I mean, we're at 5 million right now. Which is pretty nice. Like, honestly, that is very nice. We have... Oh, we have 19,000 in stock. Oh, there we go. We're printing. Yeah, because we didn't have enough in stock. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hire... I'm actually just going to call a courier. $100 up front, 125 a box. That's actually pretty expensive. Okay, I'm going to hire one. Never mind. Oh, we haven't... We've lost all of our hired help as well. So I'm going to get couriers to come in maybe at 8 a.m. At least we'll get... Well, actually, how, many do, how much do they carry? I don't know. How much do they carry? Let's see. Well, I don't know if they're going to come in now, though, because we've missed that window. I guess I'll just call one now. So they will come. Yeah, there you go. So they'll pick up those boxes. Is, will they get, be able to pick up enough of those? Yeah, cool. So they picked up all those. I'll take them out. And then this one will come tomorrow at 8 a.m. Now, we should probably hire cleaning and all that, too, and maintenance. So let's get maintenance, cleaning, uh, IT, and we don't need a receptionist. because I don't think there's a reception desk here. At some point, we may do that. So I'm not sure what we had them set up before, but I'm going to get maintenance coming at 10, cleaning coming at 10 as well, and IT maybe at the end of the day. So they can say one hour later. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Probably not. But anyway, so we've got all these people in here. Most of them aren't really doing... <laughs> Look how big these rooms are. It's kind of ridiculous, but I, I don't want to hire right now. We could also start doing HR management so we can automatically hire and fill all these positions. So we, we may look into that. But I, don't, I want to finish this port job and then I'm going to wait till tomorrow. Oh, we definitely need more support though. You know what? I'm going to hire a service uh, team leader. So we're going to look for a role of lead and specialization HR, high skill, well paid. And we want them to be compatible with the service team. So we're going to fill, I'm going to only allow good and normal ones to appear. And then skill wise, I want the best skill level. Can we get a good compatibility with best skill level? Is that possible? I don't think it is. <laughs> I don't think it is. So we'll just probably go with this person here. So this person can do... Nice uh, little jiggle there. Handle hiring. Really, that's what we want them to be able to do is handle hiring. So we're going to hire Mandy Johnston. Welcome to the team. And then we're going to set Mandy Johnston to be the team leader. There you go. They are now the little leader. Oh, you can be educated too. Nice. And then what we want to do, so we can have 20 people on this team. So we're going to go HR management. I don't know what the, I don't, education and hiring costs, a monthly budget. I don't know. Uh, currently we're spending like 42,000. Uh, say 150,000 for a month. I don't know, is that too much? Anyway, handle wages, handle complaints, because I don't want to do that anymore. So now we're going to say, we're going to hire uh, the people. And we're not going to change what are their roles are. They're going to do whatever. Education level. We want to make sure everyone's educated and we'll send a maximum of five people to be educated at once. So that's how many, like the education amount is how many sent, like go away for the month or so. Um, and now we want basically half programmers, half service because we need uh, some of the support team to actually fix bugs as well. So we're going to say programmers, nine, service, 10. Now I know what you're saying. That's only 19, but we got to include the leader in that, which will be 20. So they, the leader is also one of them. And I'm just going to deselect this because we're going to want to specialize in support. And maybe just like system. Pro I don't know if we need them all in these different things here or what. I'm just going to say system. I'll just do support and system. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below about that. Salary, high salary. We're, we're a successful company now, okay? So that, we'll let that go. Oh, I guess, will they not hire? Oh, no, there we go. We've got 20 people just hired. <laughs> right, let's, um, I mean, do we just go for it and hire? Maybe, maybe we should go for it. Let's go lead. Uh, let's, yeah, let's just hire more leaders for each of these teams and we'll just fill them out. Let's go for it. So this is going to be for the 2D editor team. Okay, so we've got normal compatibility as good as we can get multitasking, improve efficiency. It'd be nice to get one that can hold meetings. Uh, but we don't, I know we don't have a meeting room, but that would be nice. Oh, there you go. So hold meetings. Because if we build a meeting room, they can all go there and, uh, and I mean, have have a meeting. I, I guess that's that makes sense. So 2D team... I just want to see who we actually need to hire for the 2D team. So I'm going to select what we had before. 
Because then we can see, oh yeah, basically 2D and then like maybe two system programmers. That's kind of it. So we're going to go HR management. I guess 150,000 like I did before. Handle wages and complaints. Don't change their roles so that everyone can do everything. Education, we'll send five of them at a time. So uh, programmers, I guess we want to do a similar thing half and half again. Well, we also need an artist. So we'll say one artist, we've already got them anyway, that's fine. And then we're gonna go for nine program, whoops, nine programmers, nine designers maybe. And then with the leader, that's 20. Now specializations will need to be system and 2D. And that's it. I can't really specify the split between these two, but hopefully they sort it out. And high salary. We want good people. Means they are older, but they are way more skilled on average, so. And also if we're automatically hiring them, it should be fine. So let's just let that play out as well. We should see that team fill up, hopefully. Hello? Oh, you know what? No, we won't because I did not set you as my team leader. That's that's what you gotta do. So we gotta go change role, make you a leader because they won't hire anyone if they're not allowed to. But that should go up to 20, there you go, beautiful. Now core team, likewise. Now the core team is basically doing antivirus. We could get them to do other stuff, but, um, oh, actually is my, what's my player character like? Am I actually any good at leading? Cause I could just be the leader. Oh yeah, handle hiring, multitasking and yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna set myself as a leader and then HR management, handle wages and complaints and I'll just set this to 150,000. Same stuff there. Now across the board, we don't need, I don't think we need artists, although we have a little bit of art because I mean, if we're going to be doing antivirus, we're probably fine. So we're going to go, I'm going to do eight programmers, 10 designers, because we already have a little bit more on the design side anyway. So we'll keep that up. And maybe I'll do one artist just in case we need them, because why not? Now we need system. I think it was just system and 2D. I guess we could maybe hire some other people too. So we can do other projects, it would be nice. Maybe some audio we'll throw in. I won't bother 3D on this team. We'll get a, a specialized 3D team. Um, and I won't bother with networking yet either. So we'll just do that. Those three specializations, high skill. So the only team that isn't 20 people right now. Oh, we do not meet demand. Dang, dang, 10 million. Uh, yeah. Okay. So the core team is up to 18. We need to hire a couple more people. Hang on. So the problem that I was talking about before about not printing enough. Oh, you know what? I think, cause I forgot to call a courier the other day. I sh oh, well, no, we do, we do have one. They come in the morning, don't they? Hang on. So the problem is we have 82 copies in stock. We have 50,000 in storage, but none in stock. And how much did we sell last month? Oh, it's going up. Oh, we sold, okay, we sold 50,000 units last month. Okay, that we literally sold every single copy that we had in stock. Okay, so that means we need more than 50,000 each month. So we're gonna say maximum 150,000. Now that'll be interesting. Are two couriers, how much do they pick up? I don't understand how many they pick up because it doesn't quite say. Let's try two and see what happens. Will they pick up all of those? I don't think the second person came. Okay, I'm also gonna hire one that comes later in the day. Uh, you can come at 12, how about that? Okay, well they're still getting a bit, okay, there's still more printing there, okay. Now, E-Vaccine 8, did we have enough for that? How's that going? I think so, I don't think we sold, I don't think it's selling that much. Although it is going up, surprisingly. I'm not really sure what's happening there. We sold 41,000. You know what? We probably need more of those too. For selling 41,000 units, I think it's probably going to go further than that. I'll go 100,000 just to be safe. Oh, uh, sorry. I need to set that to maximum. If you set it to limit, uh, it will just print 100,000 and then stop. It won't keep printing more, but we need to keep printing them because they're still selling. So that'll go and that should print a few more copies here. My, I feel like my afternoon courier is not coming in. Maybe they're going to come in tomorrow. I think that's the problem. I'm going to call one to come now just to pick up all this stuff. It's a little bit more expensive calling them instead of hiring them, but at least we should have a bunch of stuff in stock. Oh, look at that money. Oh, I should probably, <laughs> I, I've been doing this printing stuff, but I've not given any of my teams any products so I can also, we need more, we need way, way more marketing here. So we need to hire more marketing too. This is going well. So let's hire another lead. This person is going to work with the marketing team because we need more people on that for sure. Is there someone who's going to have good compatibility? Oh yeah, there is. Sweet. So you, Letitia Thompson, welcome to the team. Where did you go? I lost you. You're not Letitia Thompson. Did I hire the, I mean, <laughs> yeah, did I hire the wrong person? I, I guess I did. I hired Alfonso Riley. I mean, they're still good. They can still do what I want them to do. I'm sorry, Letitia. I told you you had the job and, and I messed up. <laughs> my bad. Oh, well, welcome Alfonso. You're my new team leader. All right, so service wise, we're gonna want 19 team members on this one. This one's pretty easy to do. 
And we're gonna specialize in marketing and high, and that should be good. So that should get all the people we need. Core team is actually missing one person. I'm not sure if they just haven't hired them yet, uh, or I did the wrong numbers. No, there's 19. Oh, you know what? It's because we already had one artist, so it didn't hire that person. Um, so that's kind of annoying because it won't fill that role. Oh, that's all right. Well, if whenever that person leaves, it'll eventually go up to one again. <laughs> I'm gonna say two so they can hire someone right now. We have two artists, why not? There you go. I'll set that back down to one. It shouldn't fire them, I should just keep them there. All right, so that's that. We sold a bunch of stuff again, 3.5 million and 2.3. Oh, this is good, guys. This is really good. Also, we have a lot of tickets here. I'm wondering if we're gonna get those all done today. Let's actually start some new projects because we should probably do that. <laughs> so let's go a new 2D editor. We're gonna make a new photo studio, photo studio three. And this time around, we will actually add new features. Uh, so we're not doing the same thing over and over. If, oh, we don't have any servers. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm just gonna put some servers in this warehouse here because why not? Oops, sorry. I wanna, I guess I'll do two and then we'll uh, link those together. So it's one server, two gigabits per second, wow. And that'll just be the SCM. We could do some other server stuff as well. Like we can host other people's stuff. We can also open a digital distribution platform, though it is 1997. So I may leave that. Um, all right, so let's go, I'm just gonna, oh yeah, it is paused. Make a 2D editor, Photo Studio 3. SCM will be SCM. And we are gonna do, let's see, what could we add? We could add raw image import. I kind of want the, if the price goes up, that'd be nice. I feel like it's not really changing my pricing. It doesn't seem to suggest I could price it higher. I mean, I could probably just price it higher if I want. What if I, what if I do everything? If we, if we just do everything besides the level three, because I don't want to bother with that. Three years. That's probably, that is probably, look how much we're wasting here. That, okay, that is a little bit too much. All right, let's strip it back. I'm gonna get rid of drawing tablet and raw image support. And we're gonna get rid of clip art. Who needs clip art? Get rid of that. And we're gonna get rid of vector graphics. So this is not a vector program, okay? This is photo studio, not photo vector studio, okay? Procedural shapes. Dynamic brushes. We're gonna do this. This is actually kind of mostly everything. Now, do did I make a, a framework before? I don't think I have, have I? No. So let's make a framework. This will actually add time, but it means the next one we can do will be a little bit quicker. So, source engine, okay. I was calling the other one evac, wasn't I? So this can be PS1. <laughs> well, it's just PlayStation, but no, it's photo studio. Photo, photo, photo engine. Great, cool, that sounds great. And I'm gonna charge $95 for it. All right, it's gonna go on those two because they're the most popular currently, which is all right, but it means we only have 1 million potential sales. And I guess, I mean, I can auto balance, but it's gonna be, we're gonna have a lot of wasted interest no matter what. And this is gonna be on the 2D editor team, not the core team. And it's gonna take him about two years to go to, to, to do this. So if that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know, but we're gonna try it. Uh, yeah, it's saying the software you're making is very complex and will take a long time to develop without adding any consumer interest. That's the thing. Cause I, I do see comments saying that um, I'm doing the same thing over and over again, which I mean, I agree with, it shouldn't be always the same, but that's currently kind of just how this game works. Um, the thing is adding all this stuff doesn't really give us any benefit at all because everyone's already 100% interested in it. So anyway, we're gonna do it anyway, cause we can, we've got a bit of money. And then we're gonna develop uh, another antivirus. I know, I know you guys love the e-vaccine life. Do we have networking yet? Like do any operating systems have networking? I would like to add it. This has got everything, which is really nice. Um, did, what was the last, what did we charge for the last one? 67, I mean, might as well bring it up. We're pretty famous. We're gonna go to 60, oh not 60, we're gonna go to 70. And this is gonna be, wait, how many, how many frameworks have we done? <laughs> okay, we've just done two. So it's gonna be EVAC three. EVAC three, it's in the game. <laughs> it's in the antivirus. The antivirus is the virus. And we're gonna use Photo Studio 2, which is gonna reduce our tech level a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit of a shame, but that's okay. And it's gonna be on pretty much, I guess all of those. Is that gonna add a lot of time? Oh, it's still about a year, that's all right. And we'll just do a little auto balance, beautiful. And this will be on the core team. Right, uh, yes, I know it's very complex, but we're gonna develop it anyway. All right, so let's, we've got all these people here. Let's turn off the room labels, we don't need those. People are using my little room a little bit. No one's using the couches. Oh, I guess because they're using the couches in each of their own rooms, which is nice. We can also have a look at, because what I was talking about with the noise, it's actually really cool that you can see this. You can see like where noise is coming from, how it's spreading. And like in here, it's not too bad with this vending machine because we have these walls. It's actually really cool, this sort of simulation of noise. And you can see like this one's quite loud, I guess because someone's been using it recently. This person has quite a loud desk, unfortunately. 
But uh, that's just the way it is. Everyone else is pretty good. Whoa! This is rough. What is going on here? Is it just because they're sitting and talking? Ah, maybe we should not have couches there. Because, yeah, when people- Oh, that gets- that gets really- You know what? I might remove those couches in each of these rooms, because I didn't think they'd be, like, chilling out, hanging out on them. But you can see that makes these people way less effective because there's so much noise coming through. 80 decibels? Dang! That's rough. Um, I'd rather you guys all go to, the, to that room, so I might actually see what happens if we just get rid of these couches. I don't know if it will make them go there, or they'll just sit in the hallway. Either way, it'll probably be better for effect effectiveness. Uh, let's turn off that noise layer. Let's see, so are they- yeah, so some of them are sitting in the hall. Looks like none of them are going into this. I built a whole break room for you guys. Granted, I gave you all the stuff you need in each of the rooms anyway, but still. Oh, look at these. Look at these beautiful boxes. You know what? We don't have any lights in here. I should probably put some lights in this room. All right, I put lights in there, but it didn't seem to have made that much difference. Anyway, are we, we're moving all those boxes, yeah? There'll be another courier that comes in later to pick up the rest, I think. Yeah, so I think, I think we're fine with that. Now, as for sales and all this of this stuff, wow, $12 million in profit. We're at $21 million. I think we are well and truly successful at this point in time, which is really, really nice. So it's a good feeling, you know, it's a good feeling. We are marketing these fully. It's this one's unavoidable. This one's only widespread. So maybe we can push the marketing a little bit more. Maybe they need to spend $100,000 marketing that. Ah, oh, look at these. Look at this beautiful office working away. Isn't that a sight to behold? We've got all these little cubicles now. We've got all these little people beavering away, just working on their little tasks. Marketing's doing nothing as per usual. Uh, actually, how are we going with like cleaning and stuff? And, and even like maintenance uh, and IT, because we only have one of each. I think it's fine, actually. You know what? I think we, we need more support. We have 200,000 active users. We have too many queued tickets. I kind of think we might need... Should we... Hi Let's hire a, a, a nighttime support team. Service night? Sure, let's call it service night. And they will have the same color. Actually, you know what? No, maybe the night team should be like the same color, but like a little darker. It's, you know, the lights just switched off a little bit. <laughs> anyway, so these guys will come in at 7 p.m. And they will work, how many hours? So these guys are working nine hours, so we'll do about the same. So we we'll go seven till 4 a.m. is when they will work. So there's like an hour between the changeover. And then there are a few hours here where there's no one around, but let's see how we go. So we're gonna get another leader and we'll make them compatible. Whoops. Make them compatible with the existing service team. That, that seems like a nice idea. So this person here, and then we'll go into the service night. Elizabeth Lynch was my, my person. So we'll get you in there. We're gonna go employees. You uh, are gonna have a role of leader. Now HR management, we did nine and 10. Okay, and then we did system and support, right. We're gonna do the same on this one. So nine programmers, 10 service people, specializations only system and support. High quality like that. Now I believe we might also want to do some employee benefits now because we don't have any in this company. And to be fair, we didn't have any money before. So currently you don't get anything at all. So pension per month, I'm going to do, a, everyone gets a hundred bucks a month for their pension. Life insurance, you know, what? we're going to give out $200,000 per death because we'll be okay. Uh, and we have about 100,000 for hospital insurance or health insurance. Minimum raise, I'm not gonna change that, I'll leave that. Severance pay, I will give you 200% if I just fire you for whatever reason. Which actually might come back to bite me in the ass if we start losing money, but we'll see. This could be a risk, but we're gonna do it. Everyone's gonna have, I mean, a whole month vacation is pretty good, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Paid vacation, yes, I think it already is paid, but we'll leave it. Everyone gets free food, which is already there. Christmas bonus, we're not gonna do yet, or company car. Now, night shift compensation. So this will hopefully, yeah, 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. and 5 a.m. is the night shift. Um, I'm gonna give you guys plus 50% an hour. You get paid an extra 50%. I'm gonna apply that. This is gonna be expensive, but I mean, I feel like we got the cash. 